question number 39 Indian beta decay the energy of the emitted beta particles is continuous this is explained by so in an alpha decay what exactly happens so if you plot a graph of energy of the alpha particle versus the number of particles which are decayed number of particles which are decayed you will always get a straight line and this will be equal to 5 mev okay and this we call it as e alpha and this is the constant energy which is being given out okay so but in case of a beta particle why do we get like this because we assume that whatever alpha particle comes out of the nucleus the same alpha particle comes composition wise there is no change and hence the energy should also be the same now, if that is the case beta particles also come in a similar way so what should happen so if you plot a graph of the energy of the beta particles versus the number of particles similar like this huh? what you should also expect something like this but you are not getting that but instead you are getting it like this over here okay so what does it mean if sometimes the energy of the beta particle is lower and then sometimes higher sometimes it's zero so what does it mean why do you get an beta particle to be ejected with a zero energy so this was asked by wolfgang pauli and as a result of it he hypothesized that in addition to an beta particle there is one more particle which comes out which you call as neutrino he called this as neutrino and he said that the energy though the energy is the same okay whatever we energy get we get in case of beta particle decay is the same but which is equally been shared by both the beta particle and as well as the neutrino okay and as a result of it you see that sometimes when the energy of the beta particle is lesser the energy of the neutra neutrino is lower when the energy of the beta particle sorry energy of the beta particle is higher energy of the neutrino is lower such that sum of these two i'll write it down here sum of these two e beta plus e neutrino okay is always a constant is always a constant it is like writing okay if 10 units of energy is been emitted by both of them i can write this as 2 plus 8 right i can write this as 3 plus 7 i can also write this as uh, 10 uh, 9 plus uh, 9 plus 1 right so i can write like this over here so as a result of this sometimes beta particle will have a larger energy some of sometimes neutrino will have a larger energy they exchange the energy and as a result of it they are getting emitted thus what does it prove it proved the existence of a new elementary particle which is neutrino this is the right answer